Hopefully you had a good time taking a look at the code. Let's trace the attacker controlled impute data flow. First, in general, the parse blend v2h origin function attempts to initialize the two declared array variables, pointers, and values. The first for loop iterates through the pointers array using the value index from zero to non-masters. Although not shown here, non-masters is known to take values from the range zero to 16. The second for loop iterates through the values array and updates elements in the pointers array with elements from the values array. Taking a closer look, we recognize that the pointers array was is, is a fixed stack, fixed size stack array of size two. However, non-masters can take any values from zero to 16. So we have an opportunity for an out of bound access. However, some array add some field is not attacker control. So although we have OOB, it's not particular interest, not particularly interesting just yet. Following through with the animation, we have an under allocation and eventually an over copy. In the subsequent for loop, get open fixed array serves to initialize the values array with the objects in G font. At the end of the first few statements, the values array now contains elements from G font. However, the values array as with the pointers array is a fixed size buffer containing able to contain two elements, but non masters is variable from zero to 16. The nested for loop begins to update the pointers array with elements from the values array. Let's see in details how this over copy and on the under allocation sequences affect memory. Starting with the get open fixed array, the values is initially an array that should contain two elements. However, after the call to get open fixed array, all of this stack region will now be occupied by the data in G underscore font. Next stop is the nested for, nest, nested for loop. The nested for loop starts by accessing pointers, the pointer, the elements in the pointer array and writing data to the addresses they refer to. So once again, accessing the pointer array and writing data to the memory that they point to. Walking through the animation, we see pointer zero gets referenced and then gets updated. Pointers one gets referenced, gets updated. Pointers two gets referenced. So now the memory address that will be written to is saved register three. That writes the value of two values, the writes the item at values two. Pointers three navigates to the saved return address and updates that with values three and values four accesses data at value zero and then writes values four into it. Notice now that value zero is a pointer controlled by the attacker. Values four is data controlled, also controlled by the attacker. We are writing ACID attacker controlled impute data to attack attacker controlled impute data pointer. This is a typical illustration of a write what where primitive. This code illustrates the sample proof of concept of an Adobe font. 
pay attention to the V2H origin. As with the prior illustration, the attacker gets to decide where the data will be written and what data will be written. The code was deprivileged. What was the fix? The code was deprivileged in Windows 10 and above so that it runs in user space instead of kernel. For Windows 8.1, the patch is the following. First, the pointers array are no longer two size two, size two, they are now size 16, and num masters is validated to make sure that it's never above 16. For additional readings, review the reference slide. 